This is a short video to show you how to use the Scamper Particulate Matter um, recording website, uh, which has been produced by six former John Bon Cristiano at Abingdon School. When you first go in following the link that you've been given, you will go to the page for the latest date, showing the data for the uh, day that has just passed. If you want to choose a different day, then you can simply go to this box at the top left, click on any date that you want to pick, going right back to the start of when Scamper measurements started in um, October or November of 2020. So if we go back to uh, today's date again, or the latest date when I'm making this video, uh, then we'll use this as an example. Uh, one of the things that uh, John's software does is that it allows you to hover over a data point on the graph, so where there's a dot, and it will then show you the values of particulate matter at each of the schools for that particular time. On this graph, we can see hourly averages of the results. So this would be the value on average at five o'clock in the morning at the schools that have particulate matter sensors working. Another thing that you can do is if you scroll down the screen, then it will show you the results for the particulate matter with size of 2.5 microns. These are the smallest particles, whereas the top graph shows you the results for the 10 micron particles, which are slightly bigger, four times bigger, in fact. But these are two of the key types of particulate matter produced by pollution from burning fuels, which can get into the human body and cause health problems. Other things you can do with this website are, if you didn't want the hourly averages, if you wanted to see all the data that have been recorded by the sensors, you can click this button at the top right and go from a smooth plot to the raw data, as we call it. So these are the measurements every two minutes from each of the sensors at the schools where the sensors are currently working. So this is a little bit more complicated because there are far more measurements plotted, but you can still get the individual measurements by hovering over them with this very useful tool where you can read the individual numbers off. Another thing that you can do, which is very useful, is maybe this graph is far too messy, or maybe you're only interested in looking at your own school or at one particular school. So what I'm going to do here is click on that button at the top, which switches off the results for Abingdon School, switches off the results for St. Blaise School, switches off the results for Abingdon Prep School. I'm going to switch off this other sensor, which happens to be in Abingdon as well. And now we only have the results for Thomas Reed Primary School. Again, I can go back to my main smooth plot and do the same thing there if I want to see what the hourly average is for Thomas Reed School R. So now I can look for big patterns like what was happening in the morning, what was happening in the evening, and I can compare days. I can go back to the day before and see if the patterns were similar or different. Uh, I can go to different weeks, or maybe I want to compare weekends and weekdays, or maybe I want to look uh, just at eight o'clock in the morning and eight o'clock in the evening, all kinds of different investigations that you would be able to do. Basically, there's lots and lots of data there, and it's up to you to have fun looking for patterns and trying to explain them.